we have maintained from the beginning is that we want to create a, a way forward that will not take away from anyone. What they have proposed would take away $20 million from the mill at a time when we can least afford it. The practice has been not necessarily to gazette um, the start of the crop, even though that has always been in the act itself. That has never been something that has been practiced. To do that at this late juncture and to call a meeting without saying when the meeting would be held, but to say that it's because the crop, the start of crop was not gazetted is worrisome and seen as perhaps an obstructionist um, approach to actually getting the crop started on Monday. We have an agreement until January 19th, which gives us a month to flesh out an agreement if we do so in um, good faith. You may recall at the very beginning, um, we signaled that we did not want any disruption. Production looks really good this year, and we want to make sure that we maximize the sugar um, production. When you have issues of this nature at this late juncture, um, you can't help but wonder what is the objective. The government has indicated repeatedly that they do not want to see any disruption. However, if you have the SICB uh, chairman saying that there's a procedural oversight that is within his purview that needs to be completed before the, the crop is able to start, you can only guess that uh, this action is being taken, you know, um, by the representative of the government that there is, um, you know, permission to go ahead and go this route. We're hoping that this is not the case. But as I said before, there was not a date given for that meeting. But given the fact that uh, the crop is scheduled to start on Monday, we can't see anything other or we can't think anything um, other than to say that there's a deliberate attempt to delay the start of the crop.